Did you know that rescue robots are becoming superheroes in disaster situations? Well, especially with natural disasters increasing, we need all the help we can get. And that's where these robots come in. They can fly, swim, crawl through debris, put fires all, and assist our brave heroes in saving lives. Some of these robots can scout disaster areas, others can handle heavy objects and clear away rubble. There are even robots that can explore on their own, collect data and even find specific spots that need attention, like checking where people might need medical assistance and then delivering medicine and other supplies to them. Teams all around the world are developing such robots that have skills like humans or even superhuman skills. And today we have put together a list of 10 such amazing rescue robots. Let's start with the headless cheetah at number 1. This robot takes inspiration from the super fast cheetah and its main goal is to help disaster recovery teams in a vague way. It can find victims, clear away debris and even dismantle structures. It's so agile that it can zoom around at speeds of up to 6.4 meters per second, make sharp turns like a pro, and even jump onto things like tables and seats, reaching heights of up to 60 centimeters. Plus, it's super smart so it can figure out how to avoid obstacles all on its own. At the second spot comes Sinantro, who's half human and half horse. So the brainiacs at the Italian Institute of Technology put their heads together and came up with this genius idea. They thought why settle for just a regular human-shaped robot when we can have one with the strength and agility of a horse. And now this bad boy has got some serious moves. With its four legs and rolling hooves, it can conquer any terrain like a champ. It's more mobile and agile than your average robot, making it perfect for disaster situations. But wait, there's more. Sinatro has also has hands that can do some pretty cool human stuff. It can handle tools, open doors and even throw some karate moves that will leave you in awe. Up next on our list, we have Chimp at number 3. So it's like a human-sized robot standing around 5 foot 2 inches tall and weighing about 400 pounds. But here's the twist. It doesn't walk like us, instead it has tank-like tracks fixed to each of its four limbs. That makes him super agile and stable. It's built to handle obstacles and reach places that might be a challenge for other robots, like tackling different terrains and navigating through tough disaster zones like a pro. At the fourth spot, we have Momaro. So, it was made by the cool team at Nimro Rescue Robot from the University of Bonn in Germany. They designed Momaro to meet the needs of the Dabra Robotics Challenge. Now, Momaro has a human-like upper body mounted on a flexible mobile base. And the best part is that it got four legs with wheels at the ends. And those wheels help Momaro zip around and conquer all sorts of terrains during rescue missions. Next up on number 5, we have Walkman. It's a super cool humanoid robot created by some genius folks at the Italian Institute of Technology and the University of Pisa in Italy. They're working on a project called Walkman funded by the European Union to make a humanoid robot that can handle disaster response. Walkman is all about whole body adaptive locomotion and manipulation, which means it can move and do different tasks in tough situations. Coming in at number 6 is Helios aka Atlas. This robot is a brainchild of Team MIT. They've developed a tool called the Drake Toolbox which includes a lot of cool features and one of the highlights is planning tools that help the robot understand its own capabilities and limitations. This allows a human operator to carefully assess and ensure the safety of robot actions. On number 7, let's talk about Tormang 2. So it's a humanoid made by a company called Robotics Limited based in Seoul. So it has an average human height and weight say about 160 centimeters tall and weighs 60 kgs. And in case you don't know, it's the successor of the Thormang 1 aka Thor OP, which is made by the same company. Next up on our list is the advanced cockroach at number 8. These little critters may not look like much, but they are the masters of navigating tight spaces and tricky terrains. Unlike those big bulky machines, these crawlers are lightweight and tiny, designed to wriggle and crawl through collapsed tunnels, fallen buildings and other narrow areas where humans can't easily reach. And guess what? 
Some of them can even climb stairs and vertical passageways. It's like having a team of robo roaches to explore and find their way in places we can't. Coming up at the ninth spot, we have data collecting platypus. So it's a miniature boat-like robot that knows its way around polluted waterways. This clever little bot is on a mission to collect water quality data in areas affected by oil spills or dumping. Equipped with multiple sensors, it can measure all sorts of important stuff like pH levels, dissolved oxygen, temperature, and even depth. And the best part is that it can go undercover. One time, this platypus disguised itself as a crocodile and boldly ventured into the Mara River in Kenya, mingling with hippopods without raising suspicion. Finally, on number 10, we have Tradar on Tracks. This robot was made to handle dangerous and unpredictable places, like chemical spills, earthquakes, or nuclear disasters. It might not be the fastest, but it's super careful and pays attention to every detail. As it rolls around, it uses flippers to check out tricky surfaces and climb over piles of debris. Its name Tradar means Long-Term Human Robot Training for Robot Assisted Disaster Response. And that's exactly what it does. This cool robot works alongside humans to tackle tough situations and make disaster response better. And with that, it's a wrap on our list of 10 amazing real-world rescue robots. From the headless cheetah to the data-collecting platypus. These robots are designed to assist in disaster situations and make a difference. So, out of all of these, which robot surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, give us a big thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. So, you never miss out on our new content. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in the next one.